Back in the 1960s, the space race was a big thing, with Russia and America sinking billions of dollars into it. But it wasn't good enough to be the first country just to catapult a human into space. The competition was to be the first to touch the moon. Imagine if America and Japan had taken the giant robot battle this seriously. After America won the space race, both countries seemed to lose interest in the moon, seeing it as a barren satellite with nothing left to discover. China, however, thinks differently. Although we know quite a lot about the moon, what we know is from the near side of the moon. No one had ever landed on the far side, or the dark side. This was until January the 3rd, 2019, when China successfully landed a robotic spacecraft on the dark side of the moon. The difficulty with landing on the dark side of the moon is communication. By landing on the dark side, you put the moon between yourself and the Earth. And as you can imagine, planets are massive signal blockers. China overcame this problem by first launching a communication satellite called Kekiao and putting it into a halo orbit around the moon. This project is called Chang'e 4. Chang'e is the Chinese goddess of the moon. The robotic landing module is equipped with a lunar rover called U-2-2. And just recently, U-2-2 made a baffling discovery. There are many conspiracy theories about what lurks on the dark side. Some believe there is photographic evidence of an ancient alien civilization. But the lunar rover U-2-2 found none of it. Rather than unidentified flying objects, however, it did find an unidentified substance. Something that looks like a shiny gel-like substance, but unfortunately the U-2-2 is an unmanned rover and couldn't take any samples. So all we have are the photos. Some scientists claim that it could be impact glass, a substance that forms after a meteor impact. Others claim it could be ice or some unknown mineral. Apparently, there are plans to send two more lunar modules, Chang'e 5 and 6, to take samples and set up a robotic research station near the moon's south pole. The project apparently aims to have crewed landing in 2030 and possibly mount a manned outpost. When the deputy director of the project, Wu Yanghua, was asked how much the total project will cost, he replied, not much. Although China has promised to share its findings with the US, its sudden interest in the moon, willingness to invest heavily and lack of concrete outlines have caused some mistrust. What do you think is on the dark side of the moon? Comment below.